Hey, welcome back to Curiosity Hub. I'm Ollie Hubbard. You are looking at a screen right now. And we're surrounded by screens on our computers, TVs, and even our phones. And most of these displays are LCD. But the other day I realized I have no idea how they work. I mean, I know LCD stands for Liquid Crystal Display. But what does that mean? So as you saw, I pulled one of these LCD screens apart and it turns out that they rely on polarizing filters. So if you have one polarizing filter, all the light will be traveling in one direction. If you put a second polarizing filter in the same orientation, the light will just go straight through both. But if you then tilt that second polarizing filter 90 degrees, all of a sudden all the light traveling in one direction is being blocked. And this is just applied in LCDs. In front of a backlight, your screen has two filters, literally made of this stuff. And they're rotated 90 degrees from each other. So how then does any light get through, as we saw before? Well, that's where the liquid crystals come in. They can twist the light between the two polarizing filters and literally let the light back through again. And it's controllable because if you apply a voltage between the twisted crystal, it straightens out again. So the light is blocked between the two polarized filters. We do this by applying two transparent electrodes on either side of the liquid crystal. So therefore the voltage applied to the liquid crystals determine how twisted they are, which determines how much light goes through the two polarized filters and ultimately reaches your eye. This occurs in every subpixel with the red, green or blue colored filter over it. And these three subpixels ultimately make up one pixel. But for each of these subpixels, a unique voltage is passed through it to get a unique brightness between zero and 255. So with a unique balance of brightness between red, green or blue, the ultimate pixel has a unique color. For example, my hoodie has a red value of 50, a green value of 51, and a blue value of 102. So there's a whole bunch of different pixels with varying colors, but that's what most of them are. And you can figure that out just using the eyedropper tool on Photoshop. The final image is made up of thousands of these colored pixels. So to demonstrate all this, I got my grandparents' old TV. They weren't using it anymore. And I removed the front polarized filter. So don't be fooled if you try this yourself by the first layer, because that's just plastic. And it fooled me. but it's just plastic, although you can see some really cool thin film interference on it. No. That is so cool. But yeah, so you remove the polarized layer and then the image just looks white, which makes sense because it's just the backlight without being filtered or blocked at all. And if you put the filter back on, then you can see the image. Now, interestingly, if you get the filter that you removed and twist it 90 degrees from what gives you a normal image, then all the colors are reversed. You see like a negative of the normal image. And I couldn't really find anything explaining this, but I think it's because the two polarized filters are now in the same orientation. So if there were no liquid crystals in between them, the backlight would just stream straight through. But there are liquid crystals in between them. And so for example, with my hoodie, the crystals in between are twisting to allow 50 red, 51 green, and 102 blue. But the filter's now rotated. So any light that the crystals twist, rather than going through, it's now blocked, so it's reversed. So instead of blue being the brightest, it's now blocked and it's the darkest. And rather than red being blocked and being the darkest, it's now let through and it's the brightest. In fact, it's almost perfectly 
reversed. And so the new color of my hoodie is this orangey white kind of color. It is a little hard to understand, but it's really good at demonstrating that basically this is just two polarized filters rotated 90 degrees from each other and liquid crystals in between that just twist that light to adjust the final brightness. So now you can watch this screen and every other LCD screen and just appreciate all of those tiny twisting liquid crystals to bring you millions of colors. I hope you enjoyed figuring this one out with me and I just wanted to say a massive hello and thank you to all of the new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys and of course all the old ones too. I mean this is just a community and I love being able to do this with you guys and I've got a present for you and me. I'll show you it next week. It's going to be awesome and if you didn't catch it last week i was just talking about the new discovery out of morocco so i'll see you soon and as always stay curious